up, alien army. I am Oculus, Oculus the alien, alien next door, door. Purveyor, purveyor of, of esoteric, esoteric lore. lore. And on this channel, we discuss everything out of this world. So today's topic, we are going to be discussing Saturn in astrology and we are also going to be bringing the alchemist <laughs> into it so this is in correspondence somewhat with the video that i have about deja vu so i don't know which one is going to go up first but they're both going to be on my channel so if you're interested in both then go ahead but when i was filming the video for deja vu it occurred to me that deja vu means already seen maktub maktub i don't know that phrase in the alchemist how you pronounce it means it is written so these two are corresponding together at least that's what just came through so i'm making a video about both but this one is something that i channeled in regards to saturn astrologically as well so saturn in the natal chart don't be hating on my boy saturn okay okay so Saturn in the natal chart, he is not a limiter, he is not a restrictor, he's not doing any of that. Saturn is in one's natal chart to provide for the individual. Now this is something that there might be differing opinions about but this is what you know i got it straight from the source i got it from saturn okay so i have a few videos on saturn if you if you're interested but either which way so saturn he got a bad reputation okay he got a bad motherfucking reputation but he don't give a fuck he's like i'm here to do what i set out to do and fuck you like that's saturn energy right like it, he's just nonplussed he's unruffled okay you're not getting under saturn's skin it's shh, that shit ain't happening so saturn conveyed to me that yes his reputation astrologically he is seen as a great malefic he is seen as restrictions or blocks things like that but saturn is also the planet associated with time and karma he is also associated with father energy so father energy this really has to do with father energy in regards to saturn now i'm speaking only in regards to saturn i'm not speaking about a gender or divine feminine or divine masculine i'm speaking strictly in regards to saturn being the father energy the father energy of saturn as lord of karma and time this energy is established material comfort in whichever house Saturn sits in your natal chart, okay? We also could take the sign of Saturn into consideration. You know, you want to look at both of them, but essentially the father energy in regards to Saturn, this is the disciplinarian type of father, but the father still loves the offspring, which is why he provides material realm comfort for his offspring in the house that he governs as well as the sign. This is where the protective fatherly energy comes in. But Saturn as being the father is also, he got some rules, okay? He's like, as long as you're in this house, his house, wherever he's placed natally for you, these are the rules. I got you. I got you wherever the fuck you're doing in your physical realm domain in regards to this house. But I want you, I expect you to excel in this area because you chose this. I am simply upholding my end of the agreement. That's where the karma comes in. Now, from an ego's perspective, perspective karma oh they're gonna get their karma <laughs> like no we ain't talking about that here okay saturn is just he's scoffing at that he's like the immaturity <laughs> baffles me anyway so saturn in regards to karma he is the father 
He's providing for the native in whatsoever house he is posited in, in one's natal chart. So he's providing the material realm comforts. Remember, Saturn is already established. 10th house energy, Capricorn energy. It's already established its earth, but it also wants to propel to move forward in the physical realm domain. How does it incubate its offspring in the physical realm domain while they learn their lessons where they strive for perfection in the area in the natal chart where Saturn is placed? Stay with me. So we already have father energy. He is governing that house. That's where he is going to hold, uphold his end of the bargain. Karmically, Saturn with karma in whosoever their previous lifetime, they accrued a good karma in the area in their natal chart in which Saturn is placed in this lifetime now. So because of their previous lifetime, this is what we're calling karma. So Saturn, because there's an agreement before the soul comes into a physical realm vessel, there's an agreement, you know, you agree to your fucking birth chart. Yes, you do. Okay. Yes, you do. Don't be saying all oh, this or that. No, you agreed to it. Okay. You might not remember, honey, but you agreed to it. So before the soul enters the body, there's an agreement with all the planets. How are you going to work for me? What, what do you do? You know, but Saturn, Saturn, he upholds his end of the bargain. Okay. Like you agree to your chart. Like this is how you want to live out your personality self in the third dimensional plane in your human vessel suit. Saturn is the area that your soul chose to excel in. So let me give you a 3D earthly example. A child wants to become whatever the fuck they want to become. They have to go to college to earn their degree to become whatever they want to become. But this is just an example. It's not for everyone, but this is the easiest 3D way I can, and I can metaphorically explain Saturn's influence. They want to go to, to college, right? College, I mean, that shit ain't cheap, okay? I mean, some of them are, but if if they want, like, the creme de la creme, they want the best, because remember, Saturn is prestige. You ain't coming at Saturn with no frivolous, half-ass fucking bullshit. Saturn demands and commands the best. So, they want to go to the best college that is going to suit what desired profession they would like to participate in who's paying for that saturn the father okay now i'm not saying that a mother can't pay for their child's tuition i'm not saying that do not get hung up on the details okay but metaphorically saturn is the father who is going to pay the tuition for that soul's incarnation to have a safe space that they have the best of the best of the physical realm domain that can be possibly offered to them in regards to that karma that occurred, the agreement that occurred betwixt that soul and Saturn before that soul entered their third dimensional vessel. So child at five years old, Hey, Dad, I want to be a zoologist. Okay, we're going to send you to the best zoology schools. We're going to start preparing you now. You're going to start studying the anatomy of animals. Whatever the case it is, the agreement with Saturn, the father energy, he is providing the material realm needs, the necessities, so that the offspring, the soul, can be comfortable enough in the area that they really wish to explore until they get it right. So let's say, for example, someone has Saturn in the first house. This is a house of self-expression, blah, blah, blah. This is someone who chose their agreement with Saturn before they entered their third dimensional vessel. They made this agreement. Okay, you know, this is what I want to learn. Saturn says, I'll help you learn but I'm giving you no fucking free pass. If I provide this for you, you're going to excel there. 
you will accept nothing but the best of the best, the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop. I'll provide everything for you. You want to learn this? I got you. I got you. But <laughs> you're going to follow your own discipline because this is what you signed up for. I am not restricting you. I am simply upholding, adhering to my end of the bargain, my end of the agreement. So Saturn in first house self-expression, they are going to have at their fingertips on the third dimensional plane, all of the comforts of area of the first house, all of the comforts there. Okay. They are going to be able to have the means to change their appearance many, many times to express themselves, to call themselves different identities many times, whatever energy to express themselves like physically in the third dimensional plane, they're going to have everything kind of at their disposal in the realm of the first house. But this individual might not be satisfied. So this is someone who might, because remember Saturn, the house where Saturn is, whoosh, honey, you best strive for motherfucking perfection because Saturn, he don't accept nothing <laughs> less than the best. He's a funny fellow. I see you. Anyway, so Saturn, he's just like, that. that's how he's like. He's like, don't accept that. Mm -mm, no, don't. Do better. Do better. You signed up for this. I'm upholding my end of the bargain. I'm not going to let your ass settle for motherfucking less than who you signed up to be in that house's energy in this lifetime. So Saturn, so Saturn is going to provide the means which someone can constantly re reinvent themselves, reinvent their identity, Saturn, first house, whatever. Uh, th there's going to be constant influx of resources in the physical realm domain that are going to enable them to have their self-expression the way that they want to, the way that they're striving to be, right? Because Saturn, he's providing that as per the agreement made before the individual entered their physical body during this lifetime. So we spoke of Saturn being the father, Saturn being karma. Now we're going to go into time. So, first house Saturn, they're, they're changing their appearance constantly. They're getting makeovers. They're doing everything, right? They're still not satisfied because they chose in that area to be the best of the best. So, Saturn is like, that's not good enough for you. I'm providing for you here. I'm giving you all these resources. You, you got to do better than that. Like, what you got for me, right? So the energy of Saturn is time because typically the native is not yet aware of who they strive to be the best of the best in the area of the chart where Saturn is placed. So someone with Saturn in the first house, they're going to keep reinventing themselves because they have the physical means because Saturn is providing all of that as per his karmic agreement but it might take some time for the native to find themselves and remember themselves in the essence that they were the ones who chose to make that karmic agreement with Saturn in that area. So wherever Saturn is placed in the chart, Saturn will provide physical means. I'm not speaking about emotional means or thought process or passion or drive I, physically physical resources okay physically in whatever area saturn is in your chart the house placement as well as the sign it's just going to be provided i would say the house placement slightly more important than the sign but you want to look how it's expressed through the sign that saturn is in so saturn made an agreement he's like okay you want to experience the best of the best of whatever it is you want in this lifetime cool i'll go in this house and then i will uphold my end of the bargain that you will not settle for less than perfection in achievement of the karmic goal that you set the contract 
you chose this i didn't i'm just upholding my end of the uh, end of the deal right like saturn that's why he's also associated with like justice and like law and things like that right like he's very neutral he's like this is this is a business arrangement i don't know what you want from me it's nothing personal <laughs> i'm doing what you want me here to do it ain't my fault if you take in too much time to figure out what the fuck you want here i already know i mean you know like saturn didn't enter a fucking human physical vessel and then you know forget everything that that happened before chose to forget mind you saturn is just like i see you okay if that's what you want to do i mean i i'm here i'm i'm gonna still provide for you right as that father energy but as well going with that father energy it's like you could do better than that you, you know you could do better from that. That's what you signed up for. I, I mean, I agreed to help you. So you're going to see in your chart the area where Saturn is placed. That the physical resources are typically going to run smooth. And this does it, this can be for all of the houses. In some sort of physical manner, you're going to notice that whatever that house is about, first house, whatever, plus the sign those type of things will typically always be presenting themselves to you but it's you you are the one that is picky in that area because you're trying to perfect it and saturn is not going to <laughs> let the offspring so to speak settle for anything less than the best because saturn is prestige 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 you're not coming at saturn with some low class shit you're absolutely not going to do that saturn will he'll he'll really sarcasm your ass away like really you're coming with that like that's saturn energy so this is why saturn has the reputation of being restrictive or things like that because it's not that saturn is doing it it's that the native is unaware that they chose to excel in that area to a point where nothing less than the best will be accepted both by the native and saturn and this ties back into what i said in the beginning of the video with maktub maktub i don't know potato potato anyway so it is written maktob it is written so this has already been written it's the contract saturn is also associated with contracts so it has already been written where saturn is in your motherfucking natal chart you were you you chose to excel in that area and settle for nothing less than the best. And Saturn, he's providing for you in that area. But he's also like, homie, that ain't the best. Mm -mm. And that's why you get that sometimes a pattern or a repetition or you keep trying to perfect your craft in that area in your chart where saturn is placed because you you now you as a personality you with that influence of saturn in that area you're not going to accept anything less than the best because that's the influence of saturn he's just like mm -mm -mm. clown <laughs> he he's just mm -mm. saturn is very amused by individuals whom he deems as declassé that is what saturn wanted me to convey to all of you with it is written he is simply upholding his end of the bargain that was written in that contract metaphorical contracts betwixt the soul that chose to incarnate into the third dimensional vessel saturn is like okay i got you homie i'll provide for you he's not even talking like that i'm talking like that <laughs> but he's like don't worry i have your back you just excel. I will take care of all the material realm needs in that area. But you have to excel because you wanted to excel. And I'm simply making sure you do it. So that's the energy of Saturn in the chart. It is the area where you are meant to excel beyond your wildest dreams. I am Oculus, the alien next door. Saturn, Saturn's here. He's like, he thinks I'm immature sometimes, but it's all good.
We will chit chat again soon.